Hi, I'm going to talk to you about the uh, right applications and the benefits of using an auxiliary electric fan to help out your belt driven fan. A lot of people have belt driven fans that they want to keep on their vehicle uh, for a variety of reasons, but still run into an overheating problem if you're sitting in traffic or an off-road vehicle that's on a slow moving trail. One opportunity that you have is to install an electric fan on the front of the radiator that helps out when you're moving slow. This is when uh, you don't have vehicle speed pushing air through the radiator and the engine is not spinning fast enough for the belt driven fan to draw enough air through the radiator. So the electric fan you can turn on manually or run it off a thermostat when the vehicle's getting hot sitting in traffic or sitting still and it'll draw that extra airflow that you're going to need through the radiator in order to keep things cool. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is measure the radiator. This particular car it's very easy to get to the radiator from the front. So you can measure what space you have available. In this one, we have 24 inches wide and about 16 inches tall. Flexlight has a couple of electric fans that work really well as auxiliary cooling fans. Uh, this is part number 114. It's a reversible fan, so it can be used either as a pusher or a puller. And uh, it's a 14 inch diameter fan. A little bit larger fan is the 119, and that's a 16 inch blade. Uh, and it uh, comes configured already as a pusher. You have several options for how to mount the electric fan on the front of the radiator here. Uh, the FlexLight fans come with a nylon bolt and a speed nut that you push on to the back. The way that this works is you uh, would push this through this mounting location here and then on the back side push the speed nut over the nylon bolt and then cut off the excess portion of the bolt. Now however you decide to mount the fan onto the radiator you're going to want to make sure that it fits flush against the uh, radiator core. You don't want a gap here or air would just push out as air is going to find the easiest path to exit. You want that air going through the radiator to give you the maximum airflow and cooling effect. If your vehicle has an auxiliary transmission cooler mounted in front of the radiator, you're going to need to move that a little bit further forward so you can mount the auxiliary electric fan directly to the face of the radiator. We also offer an auxiliary transmission cooler that has a small electric fan already attached to it from the factory. Some of the FlexLite fans are reversible and what that means is there's a uh, e-clip here that you can pull off and actually turn the fan blade assembly around on the fan and then when you wire the fan into the vehicle you reverse the lead so the black wire would actually be what you connect to positive power and the red wire you'd connect to negative to ground. And that would make the fan motor spin in, in the opposite direction. The fan blade's been turned around. And that's going to make it so that this fan pushes air through the radiator instead of pulling it out. Now it's very important when you hook up an auxiliary fan that you get one that's made to go on the front of the radiator and be used as a pusher instead of a puller. FlexLite offers a couple of really good auxiliary cooling options for you. These fans are easy to install, easy to wire, and could be exactly what you need to help keep your 4x4 or hot rod running a little bit cooler in traffic this summer. Go to FlexLite.com for more information on these products and all of our performance cooling products.